Howdy hi. I'm about to fall off this chair. There we go. Um, got another journal here. And it measures nine by four and a half. And let me get rid of those threads. There's threads everywhere today. Um, got a real pretty image of some cattails and a faint image of a lady. Got a whole bunch of different fabrics, some eyelet fabric. This is an old crocheted doily. And a bunch of different fabrics with a, a button. And the little family in the front. And this, too, is made out of a, a dinner napkin. So pretty. And uh, there's the center. And let's go inside. I don't want to lose my place. I use my ruler to mark my place so I know where I am in the frame. Nothing like filming a video and then realize you have this much showing. <laughs> On the inside... I used the other half of that napkin, and this is part of a crochet doily with a little flower and some fabrics and a bead, and uh, some textured fabric here. And this is a uh, booklet made out of envelopes, so you can stuff, I left this open, so you can stuff whatever you want to stuff in there. And it's got a lot of different pages. And this one I sealed down. And then there's the cover, so it's little different over here got a little tuck spot and I used some different fabrics and a, a button and a safety pin and I put a nice big page of coffee dyed paper there and then you've got some flowers and some lace I stitched it in white because the cover was white I love this image of this lady and it's got some laces here and then some patchwork running down the card. All the backgrounds have real faint things on it. Some ephemera pieces and some flowers and things. Some lined paper here. Part of a crochet doily, a little flower. I don't know what you call that. Kind of looks like wheat, maybe. But anyway, I like it. And then, of course, you've got extra pages here. Some lace running down the side. Over here, got a pocket at the top, and I just let some fabrics hang down with a safety pin, and I put in old vintage, and get a flashlight for a dollar, <laughs> and a little mini card. Flashlight for a dollar, what I'm talking about. Got a book page here, and I put a piece of paper over for additional writing, and then a tuck spot over here. It's all about mint. Apple mint, spearmint, you know, pineapple mint, all kinds of stuff. A vintage image. And then um, this is from my manners book about uh, invitations to supper, the proper way for a gentleman to ask a lady. And this has got a pocket up here at the top with a little uh, card that uh, you can... Look, a mailbox. I always get distracted by by what it is. Um, this is a mailbox for 98 cents RFD mailbox. I did not know. I know y'all, well, not all of you may remember, but do you remember um, Andy Griffith RFD? Didn't know what that was until I saw it in one of my vintage books. So it had something to do with the mail. I don't know what it stands for. Oh. Approved box for RFD service. Well, there you go. Who oh, no. knew? Interesting. And then over here you've got the uh, cattails and stitching and all this opens up for extra writing. RFD. It was Mayberry RFD. That's what it was. And then extra writing over here. A little bit of crackle paper going on. Neither page for journaling. And fabrics and ephemera. Uh, some pretty ladies with some cheesecloth and laces. And this opens up for extra writing. Little dandelion there and some script going on. Tuck spot over here with some lines uh, for extra writing. And different fabrics and a piece of ephemera. Love that image. And I put a little mini booklet behind it made out of a book page. 
and then she opens up for writing. So you got two there. Some lace running down the edge. This is a big uh, pocket here. Two cards, and it opens up this way for lots of writing. Coffee dyed paper. Love it. And a pocket over here with the different patchwork fabrics and flower. And it also opens up this way. Got a tuck spot here with part of a crochet doily and a button. And it's also a pocket inside a little envelope as a tuck spot. And behind it I put a full page for journaling. And coffee dyes. And then one tucking on the inside. And I cut it out so you can see where to, to put it. This is a vintage um, prescription. If you can write on the back. It tucks right in there. Got a little tuck spot here with some ruffles. A pretty image of a lady. A femur and a flower. Two cards. It's open here on the edge so you can easily slide these in. Nice page. Got some lines down here. And then... Pretty image that's there for pretty with some fabrics. The stripes are actually um, uh, when I coffee dyed it, it, it happened. So, but I thought it was pretty cool. Got a pretty lady here. Got a, a feather, a little metal feather, and a safety pin and some fabrics. And then this opens up for more writing. Some lined paper. Got a tuck spot over here on the book page with some burlap. Part of a crochet doily. Paper over here for extra writing. Part of a crochet doily, a little metal uh, bead. A little crazy with these fold outs, but you can see that as much as is in here and the additional writing space can, that it can give you by getting it off the spine, it uh, really closes nicely. Extra pages there. Little pocket here with some lined paper in the background and a bunch of different fabrics and a button with a card. That yeah, was just a card. And I left it open on the edge. Got some fabrics up here with a little piece of ephemera running through and a card behind it with a collage of different papers and a little heart uh, paper clip and then that opens up for extra writing. <coughs> Shh, go outside and see about it. Yeah, that's going to work. Well, girl can hope. And then we've got the same pocket here. And here, the little uh, bead thing and flower and crochet doily. And then on the inside, I put a nice large card for, for writing on. And then this made out of a Russian little mini um, da -da 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 -da. Uh, well, I just I just had a brain fart. <laughs> uh, but anyway. It's Russian to English, and some lined paper on the back. A little mini book. And then, of course, the napkin with the pretty ruffle on it. And there's the back. I just let it do its thing. And there's the front again. I love this. I only got this one piece at an estate sale, and I think it's so pretty. And that's it for this video, and I think that's it for this week. I did... A lot of stuff this week. I was a busy girl because, you know, Thanksgiving's coming up. And uh got to be doing all that cooking and cleaning and the hard work so you can enjoy two hours of eating <laughs> with the family. Okay. I want to thank y'all so much for being here. If I don't get any videos done next week, I want y'all to have a safe and healthy Thanksgiving. 
and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.